opposite sides on that one, but is agreement when it comes to Mississippi State. Uh, look, they had a lot of starters, including a lot of folks on that defensive front, get offseason surgery, so we weren't able to see a whole lot of them in the spring there. But the number set at six and a half. I'm not sure if it's the hook you guys don't like, but both of you are taking the under. Barrett, we'll start with you. Yeah, I'm still not the biggest believer in Mike Leach in the SEC. I know he has his moments where, you know, they look lights out, including his first game against LSU in 2020. But then they have these mind-numbing, you know, just snort snooze fest that they go through. And I like Will Rogers, but I don't like their receivers. I don't necessarily think they're that stout up front on the offensive line. And then defensively, there's not just there's no star in the front seven and there's really no depth there either so yeah the hook grabs me a little bit but I think they're far more likely to be a six and six team that goes to a bowl game and perhaps get that seventh win but I don't see seven and five in the regular season yeah I'm gonna go under as well they lost two key players Makai Polk at receiver you know about the offensive line uh, play and, and on defense, I still worry about them within the front seven. I do like Jalen Green, their safety back there, but for the most part, this is a team, a philosophy that I just don't understand in terms of how it's going to be able to function consistently throughout the SEC. So I'm going to go under. I actually think four may be the number here for Mississippi State. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.